Point elasticity is an important concept in the analysis of the demand function. Here we will use the natural logarithmic functions to find out the point elasticity. In addition, we will also use the differentials and the derivatives. So by using these tools from uh, mathematics, we are going to make sense of elasticity, that is the point elasticity, which is the elasticity between two points. And definitely, we are going to do some uh, economic application of it as well. So let's start it with the uh, basic formula of the elasticity of demand, that is the price elasticity of demand. Uh, primarily, we can write it like this in the standard form. Then we can reciprocalize this term and this will appear like this. And now we can rearrange it by combining the Q, Q terms here and separating the P terms uh, si uh, with the side of it. And now uh, we can reciprocalize it and when we do so, the term which is the second term will be reciprocalized. And then we have a situation which can be expressed like this that is q2 minus q1 over q1 and then we have p2 minus p1 over p1 so actually this term the term in the denominator and the term in the nu uh, numerator as well as in the term in the denominator they are representing the percentage changes these are the percentage changes and uh, by using the tool of differential, we can write it like this. That is, the differential of the natural logarithmic uh, version of quantity demanded and the differential of the natural logarithmic version of the price. So by taking this quotient, we can find out the elasticity of demand. And it means that we can resort to the natural logarithmic version of a certain um, quantity dem uh, demand function. So let's see that how we can do this. Uh, assuming a specific demand function, uh, we have this uh, certain example in which we have a demand function uh, which is nonlinear because uh, if we rewrite it like this, it will become a variable with power minus 1 which means that it's not a linear variable anymore. And in order to linearize it, we can take the natural log of it and we have done it. By doing so, we are able to write it in this form. Now, since the natural log is calculated, we are capable of calculating the elasticity. Now, we can calculate the differentials or we can calculate the derivative. Uh, either of the ways will give us the same answer. But in case of differentials, we'll be calculating two of them. That is the differential of natural log of q and differential of natural log of p separately and then we can divide them. But if you take the uh, derivative, then we have to calculate one derivative and definitely this that will leave us lead us to the answer. So if we uh, differentiate this function, it would be with respect to p, but p is appearing with the natural log. Therefore, we log logarithmically differentiate the uh, variable uh, and the function q in it. So this is why we write logarithmic differentiation with respect to p. Here you can see the natural log is appearing in addition to p because it is natural logarithmic differentiation of the function with respect to p. So this is the function that we are differentiating. The operator appears here and there as well with this uh, negative sign in the middle. This was the first term and this was the second term. Since we are differentiating with respect to p, this is the term that should disappear because there is no p in this term. Whereas there is a p in this term, so the next term would be 1 because uh, they can be cancelled out. And this was the answer of the first term, this is the answer of the second term. It means that the elasticity of demand is equal to minus 1. And in order to interpret it, we need to understand the sign as well as the magnitude. The sign is negative. It means that there is a negative relationship. And um, the value of it is 1, that is the magnitude, which implies that we are dealing with the unitary elastic demand function, which is um, a rare case because usually 
uh, it is greater than 1 or less than 1, but precisely equal to 1 is something which is um, rare. However, in this case, we have this situation in which we can say that we are dealing with the unitary elastic demand function. And we uh, calculated this point elasticity version of the elasticity by using the natural logarithmic uh, version of the uh, derivative. And this is how we can calculate the point elasticity of demand by using natural log versions of the functions as well as the derivatives. Thank you.